Hey, welcome to sunny Florida. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to install a generator outlet to backfeed a panel during a power outage. My parents last year moved to Florida. Sure enough, two weeks later, they got hit by the hurricane. So here's the thing. They were without power for 10 days. And you know what? If you've ever been without power, you know how bad it is. So my dad asked me, hey, can you do me a favor? Can, if I buy a generator, can you hook it up for me? Absolutely. Now, there's a few different ways you can hook up a generator outlet. There's a, actually, I should say, there's a few different ways you could hook up a generator. It depends on what you're trying to do. Now, I'm going to show you a way is what we call backfeeding. This is something that we probably do more often than not just to get somebody up and running when there is no power. Is it the safest way to do it? Yes and no. You just have to know some, uh, some simple rules. You have to make sure that the main breaker is always off. This is the key. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is the little disclaimer that I got going on here. If you do not understand the process, please call an electrician. Okay, An electrician can help you get through this. Never hook up a uh, generator to a house with the main breaker on. You never want to do that because you don't want to backfeed out into the power lines. You know, you don't want to kill somebody because trust me guys, when a power company goes out there and, and, and puts a tester on it and finds out that it's live because you're backfeeding that power line, guess what? Your whole neighborhood is going to be out of power because they won't touch it. If they do touch it and they get killed, you're responsible. So remember, this is just a small tutorial to show you how that you can backfeed, but you want to make sure that you stay within your local building codes to make sure that it's okay you do this type. So what are we going to use? We're going to use some parts. We need a few things. We're going to need a breaker. I'm using a 30 amp two pole breaker. I have a 240 volt service. You're going to need an outlet box, preferably twist lock. You're going to need some 10-3 Romex. Now, depending on the type of situation that you're using, you may want to run PVC, you may run THHN. It depends on every situation. This is the situation that I'm installing now just to give you a brief understanding of what we're doing, okay? We have a two pole breaker. We have a twist lock 30 amp generator outlet. We have 10.3 Romex, and we are hooking up a 4,000 watt generator. One thing you have to remember, no matter what, Safety first. I'm going to show you how to do an install that you can do on your own. But remember, if you're not 100% sure, please call an electrician. I hold no responsibility to what you do if you, if you wire it wrong. So what are we doing? Well, let's go take a peek. All right, so I have a 240 volt, 100 amp panel that I'm going to backfeed. Okay, there's another panel in the house, but that's has no interest because what we have here is we have the feed coming in here from the meter, and then we have this load side here through the bus bar that's going into a conduit and is going into the house to feed a sub panel. Once, we've bat once we feed these bus bars after this main breaker is shut off, we will be able to send power down these conductors to energize that other panel. So what are we going to do? We're going to run a piece of wire through here and behind this door, we are going to install an outlet box. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install this two pole breaker into the panel. Now all we have to do is run our wire. 
first we have to drill some holes. Okay, so now we're back. So I've got my holes drilled, I've got my wire run, I've got my wire tied into this panel here, just gotta put a staple in. We'll tie it in at the end, but we drilled our holes, we ran our 10-3 cable all the way through. We just gotta finish this little piece here and then we'll start to, then we'll start to install the outside outlet. So now we're going to install the outside outlet. Very simple. Remove the screw, pop the cover off. Now we're going to put this to the side. We're going to mount this back box.
So what we need to do now is we need to connect our X, W, and Y. As you can see, our ground is already connected with a pigtail, which will go to the ground screw. So we'll land our ground wire there. We'll connect this here, we'll tighten it down, ground is done. The three, the two hot conductors and the neutral will get connected. Remember W, X, and Y. Give it a tug, make sure it's tight. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna tuck that back. We're gonna lift this up. And we're gonna find that W is in the center. So we're gonna do this. Strip these wires. Do this. Then we'll go to here. Tip it this way, dump in our X. Give all our wires a little bit of a tug, and then we're gonna fold everything back, push it straight in. And we're gonna tighten it down. Now all we have left is to tie in the breaker. Go ahead and kill it. Okay, so now all we have left to do is tie in the breaker. Start with the ground.
Okay, so that's what it takes to install a generator outlet to backfeed a panel. I'm going to do a few more videos that's going to show you different techniques and different ways to hook up generators to a home. In an emergency situation, this works great. If this video helped you, do me a favor, give me a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Um, as always, my name is Craig Mashad, and I am the Electrical Instructor. Have a great day, and be safe.